Hey, let me show you how we can fix battery drain issue on the Redmi Note 13. So first of all, we have to open the settings. Now we'll have to scroll until we locate privacy. It's just right here, almost at the bottom. Open it. And first of all, uh, we have to go for the usage and diagnostics. So we have to scroll down, go right here, and now click on this switcher to turn it off. Uh, this function actually sending all of this data uh, into the Google so it's actually draining the battery. So we have to turn it off. Next, we have to go back from this one and we have to navigate into the location. From this, we have to open location services, go into the Wi-Fi scanning and we have to turn it off. The same for the Bluetooth scanning. Next, from this one, we have to go back and you have to also remember about the location access. So, you know, location is a very useful feature, but if you are not using it, just remember to turn it off because it's keep connecting into the, all of this satellite system and draining your battery. If you need to navigate, just turn it on. If you don't need, turn it off. Next, you have to also remember to uninstall all of these apps that you are not using. So go into the apps, click to manage apps, and from this, click on the uninstall button. Now just wait for it. And uh, first of all, it, it actually shows us uh, the biggest apps. But in my case, I'm not using the booking.com, the AliExpress, Amazon Shopping, Spotify, LinkedIn. I'm not using the Xiaomi community, Google Podcasts, and also the Opera browser. So as you can see now, we can easily get rid of the one gigs of the data. But you know, all of these apps sometimes connect in the background to the mobile data or to the Wi-Fi and keep draining our battery. So just remember to keep on your phone only these apps that you are really using. And next, uh, we have to go into the Google section. So it's between the Xiaomi account and the accounts. Open this one. And now we have to go into the devices device and the sharing actually go into the devices now just wait for the loading screen okay it's actually scanning for too long so we can actually try to go back from this one and open it one more time but as you can see for some reason it's not loading for me but basically uh, right here you have to get rid of all of these sharing devices. So we have to turn off with the switcher. And now we can go back from this one. And now we are going to navigate into the passwords and the security. From here. Now let's open the privacy section. And now click on this icon and turn off to enroll in the user experience program. This is also related to the Google one, the Xiaomi actually collecting the data and analyze user data and sending it. So it's also draining the battery. From this, we can also go into the usage and the diagnostics. So previously we turned it off for the Google, but now we have to also turn it off for the Xiaomi. Next, we have to go into the additional settings. We have to go into the gesture shortcuts and remember to turn off all of this shortcut that you are not using. For example, I can recommend you to turn off the Google Assistant from the power button. The same for this quick launch of the volume down button on the power button, it's linked into the camera and the same for the flashlight. And now when you go back, we have to navigate into the home screen where we can actually find a very similar option when you go into the system navigation and go to the button shortcuts, we can actually get rid of this shortcut. So actually every shortcut that you are not using also draining your battery because there, because there's like some function linked, it's actually in the storage, in the memory of the, in the background memory of your phone and keep, keep draining your battery. Next, it's also recommended to turn off vibrations that you are not using. So you have to move into the sound and vibration. 
scroll down and from this you can find all of these vibrations. So in my case I'm not using vibration on the top so I have to turn them off and I'm also not using the vibration for the calls. Now we are going into the display section and it's also recommended to turn on the dark mode. From this you can go to the refresh rate and when you are not using your phone for example for some gaming stuff or or you don't need basically get this smooth scrolling animation you can switch to the 60 hertz even right here we can find the description that it actually boosts the performance but drain the battery from this we can also find the brightness level of our display so there's like some some situation that you are not don't need the 100% of your battery right so you can set it for the 90 80 or even 50 at the night time for example so remember to adjust the brightness level next you have to also remember about some basic stuff like for example the wi-fi mobile data bluetooth and the hotspot so if you are not using wi-fi just simply turn it off the same for the mobile data and when we talk about the hotspot we have to actually hit the settings go into the connection and the sharing move into the portable hotspot and just remember to turn it off and uh, that's basically it maybe there's one additional tip when you don't have when you have actually the live wallpaper you can just turn it off and get the static wallpaper because the live one drain battery like much much more than the the static one so that's all for this video all of my tips for the battery drain issue on the redmi note 13 right now please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one